Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. Um, well, at least at the time of me recording, it's been a minute since I've uploaded a video. But um, yeah, how are you guys? Um, today, it's a fun video because I finally got my hand, well, not finally, because they kind of just came out and have actually been pretty easily available for most people. But regardless, I've kind of been waiting for them for a while. I finally got a junior high doll. Oh my God, I gotta lower the, lower the camera. Um, Yeah, look at her, is she not stunned? So I went to the Target, that's by my university. And yeah, they thankfully had, this is the only Jade they had and she's like 95% perfect. I'll show you why she isn't 100% perfect when we unbox her. Um, so I was really thankful for that. They also had three Skylars, but they kind of each had their own flaws. Um, and one of them had like the messed up hairline, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, my, the main ones I want to get are her, Violet, and Sunny first, and then I'll get the others. So I was fine skipping out on Skylar. But yeah, so here she is. And I actually got her for only like $12 because I had some, uh, some stuff from my Target Circle thing. So this is like even like an even awesomer purchase, you know what I mean? Like, oh yes, vocabulary legend. Um, yeah, so this is the box. They're so tiny, I love it, I'm obsessed. I really hope we get versions of like all the girls as, as junior high dolls. It says series one, Jade Hunter. Uh, I love her art, honestly, I love, love, love this art. She looks so cute. She's cosmetology focused, obvi. And then this is the back. Um, oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention that's on the front too is, um, it's like Rainbow High is like kind of crossed over or crossed off with Junior High and Sharpie. And I think it's the cutest thing. I love that design choice. And each box only has three girls. So like if you get Skylar, Sunny, or Jade, I'm pretty sure you'll get this art. But if you get Violet, Ruby, and um, Poppy, then they'll have their art. So I think that's nice. I like that. And yeah, there it is getting crossed off. Um, and then this is her code for anyone looking, still looking for her, but yeah, let's unbox her so this ring light can stop being annoying and get into it. All right, you guys, I've unboxed Miss Jade. Now let's go over everything that she comes with. Um, well, she doesn't come with much. <laughs> so unfortunately, these junior high girls don't come with a stand, which, I'm not understanding why, because they kind of are in competition with another MGA brand. <laughs> um, the LOL BTWs or the tweens, they are $20, come with, I wanna say the same amount of quality, kind of, and uh, they have stands and brushes, but uh, yeah, so that's weird. I would say, I will say that that is kind of a flop on their part. But she does come with her, um, you know, basic comb. Great. Um, but the piece de resistance of this little gremlin, as Zombie X Corn would like to say, <laughs> uh, is this bag. Oh my god. I guess this is where, like, the budget is kind of going. Because look at this bag. Is this not, like... Gorgeous, and I didn't even realize all these details. So it has like leather straps like this is or faux leather But this is like leather embroidered canvas back material And then it has like this painted tag, but it also has like not, Is this metal? I don't think it's metal, but it's like plastic that's painted to look like metal pieces Again, a faux leather strap up here, this plastic molded piece, this little black rainbow. I love that so much. It's so jade. And then like this thing, oh my God. And that's like an actual pocket too. And then of course this whole like snake skin is like giving. And then you can actually open this and like put stuff in it. I think I'm gonna keep the paper in it for now just cause I don't have any plan to put anything in it. I don't plan to put anything in it right now, so I'm just gonna keep it. But yeah, wow, this bag is nice. Like, this is a bag. And like, shade alert, shade alert, if you're a Monster High, like, diehard stand, like one of the annoying ones, be prepared because I'm gonna throw shade. Um, this 
is more of a collector bag. It's giving more collector quality than the fucking like Haunt Couture bags because I'm gonna put pictures of them here, probably, maybe. Um, let's just compare, okay? I'm, I have the pictures comparing the bags. What the hell are those Haunt Couture bags? They're so ugly and so like basic, but whatever. I love, I'm not gonna talk about them. Um, but yeah, this is a bag, honey. I love this bag. I can't believe I'm excited about a, about a fucking um, backpack. But enough of that, um, let's get into the doll. Please allow me to introduce Mini Junior High Jade. Oh my God, you guys, she is so, so cute. Holding her is like so weird. Cause she's so little. Oh my God, I love her. I'm literally in love. I'm so glad that I found her today. Um, okay, so let's go over everything from head to toe. Her hair is done up in this like super cute um, half up, half down pigtail thing. Okay, she doesn't look, I don't know, is this like normal? It's not like the thickest rooting I've ever seen. Especially like right here. Some of it is gelled though. She's rooted enough, I'd say. Um, yeah, like she gets the job done. Um, but I love her hairstyle. This like, I love this specific like half up, half down pigtails. And then these little like side sideburn strands or whatever, they're so cute. And of course she's giving with this like pleather, these pleather scrunchies that have like embroidered metallic studs um or metallic studs and yeah she's just she looks so adorable i i love this hairstyle and of course her makeup is also like stunning um i've i just realized i've been showing her like off camera i'm so sorry i'm like looking at her not the screen but yeah her makeup is gorgeous um her face isn't like perfect um she has like a dot there, a dot there, and then her lip. That's like where the main issue is, you see? But like, I don't know. I think it's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but like, I'll live. I, I, I was thinking about repainting her anyways, um, her lips, so yeah, like I'll live. Um, honestly, might get a duplicate, maybe. I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, that, I love her makeup, I love her face. Her eyeliner and her eye makeup is stunning, as usual, our cosmetology queen. Love that glitter. It's very reminiscent of her OG face. Um, she just doesn't have as much under eye makeup, which I kind of wish they kept her under eye makeup, but it's okay. Um, what I love about this though, is that they gave her prototype Band-Aid. If you guys don't know, Jade was originally supposed to come with this Band-Aid on her um, Series 1 doll, but they like scratched it last minute, I guess. And I'm so glad they brought it back to this because I love the Band-Aid on the nose look and it just suits her so well. So yeah, that's it for her face. And of course, rooted lashes and said eyes, blah, blah, blah. Um, now let's get onto her clothes. I love this tank top. Honestly, it's really nice. It's a like very like jersey kind of material. It's a little see-through when you pull on it. Really cute. The pattern goes all the way to the back, of course. It says Los Angeles. Definitely, probably I'm gonna keep this when I restyle her. Um, and then her, oh my gosh, she comes with, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, wait, wait, I had, okay. <laughs> um, she comes with these pants. They're really cute. They're pretty simple and I like that. Um, of course they do say rainbow on the legs, but I think it's nice. Um, and then her shoes, her little sneakies, her little sneakers. No rain, no rainbow. That's so cute. The back, oh, so detailed. Love the paint. The paint is like perfect. And it says RH, obvi. But hold up, I had no idea. Oh my God. <gasps> she comes with little boxers. Oh my God, that is so cute. And like the the band, the boxer band like peeks out. 
Oh my God. Okay. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm like, uh, I just love this. I think the junior high dolls are gorgeous. I think their faces are beautiful. And I think that the quality is still here, at least with her. I don't like Poppy. Um, but anyways, yeah. And oh yeah. And she also has painted nails. So slay. Um, yeah, that's it. She doesn't have uh, earring holes, which kind of sucks, but I'm also kind of not too bothered by that. Um, and she does have a little gel in her hair. Nothing crazy though. Definitely am gonna wash her hair. Um, might take down the pigtails just to secure them a little better. But yeah, I can't wait to restyle her. I'll, if I do restyle her, I'll show her at the end. But yeah, now let's get into her articulation. She has a ball joint head, which is great. It doesn't click, which is kind of weird. I'm like used to the clicking. It also doesn't go like back super far. Again, like I, I'm expecting a click, but nothing's happening. But her head tilts just fine, so that's good. She has uh, elbow or shoulder articulation, elbow articulation, and wrist, and the hands do come off. Um, her articulation feels really smooth and like her whole, like just feeling her arms, like she feels good and she's not like heavy, but she's not like super lightweight either. So I like that. Um, she does have painted on underwear and then she has her legs go out. I saw somebody say that her, their legs don't go out and I was like, what? Anyways, they do go forward. She has the articulation at the a uh, thigh and then she has the double jointed knees no ankle or torso articulation oh and she does have socks okay wait i did want to see if she has healed feet yes she has socks and healed feet hell yeah um okay i'm gonna do some comparisons though i'm gonna i think i'm gonna get use some shoes and see what she fits yeah i think instead of a uh, wash and restyle i'm just gonna compare uh, I'm gonna see what clothes she can wear. So now that we have Miss Junior High Jade's review out of the way, let's get into some comparisons. Okay, so I brought out my uh, Series 1 or Signature Jade. Um, I did her hair and pigtails, which, oh my God, it actually kind of matches her Junior High. This is, I mean, I did this like months ago, um, but yeah. This is my junior or regular Jade. So let me give you a little height comparison. There you go. Also, it looks like junior high Jade isn't as pale. You guys seeing that? I hope the camera's picking it up. Um, she also obvi doesn't have the uh, shiny faces, which is nice. I do like the matte faces. Um. Yeah, so that's the height. Um, really nice. I love their height. I literally love these junior high girls. I want to make my mini me a junior high girl because their body is also really nice and it is the closest to mine. Um, let's get look at their face. They do have different eye shapes though, which I like because their eyes aren't as round as the original face mold. They're like slanted more up. So I think that's I think that's why I really like their faces too. It's really pretty. But yeah, as you can see, their makeup is similar, but not 100% the same. But yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Um, I'm gonna like undress her and we can take a look at the body. So doll nudity warning, I guess. Okay, so again, doll nudity warning, but I didn't want to take off Jade's clothes on the, on the core one, but yeah. So this is the body comparison. Um, as you can see, their hips aren't as big and their waist isn't as like, I mean, their waist isn't small either, but you guys, you guys can see. You have working vision, I'm assuming, if you're watching these reviews. Um, so yeah, I really like the junior high body because this is like the closest to my body because I don't exactly have a snatched figure. Um, that's why I want to make my mini me with a junior high girl, probably Skylar. But yeah, that's the body comparison. And now I'd, let's bring out some clothes and see what fits them. Oh, oh my God, you guys. Yeah, these junior high girls are it, okay? So here we have Jade uh, modeling some Bratz, ooh, Bratz clothes. Oh my God, I'm gagged. So 
The torso looks like it's pretty much the same as Rainbow High Dolls, um, at least in the sense of like how they fit Bratz clothes. If the shirt is stretchy, it can fit pretty well. Um, and then as for the skirt, they fit Bratz skirts way better than r normal Rainbow High Dolls because I've tried to get this skirt over a, a normal Rainbow High Doll and it's like impossible. But with a little bit of elbow grease, it fits them like a really tight kid's glove. <laughs> um, it doesn't Velcro, but it's like whatever. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. Um, and I try to put her in some shoes. These might be some bad examples. Um, they can, it looks like they kind of fit Rainbow High shoes. Um, I did bring Violet's second pair of shoes. I think this is her second pair. Um, so let's test it out. Yeah, so they, their feet are smaller, so they can't really fit. It's kind of giving um, fail fix. Like they can't really fit their heels, but they can fit like, I don't know, like boots maybe. So yeah, so she's probably gonna stick with her original sneakers um, because Unless like, you know, you wear like uh, Daria's Doc Martens or George's sneakers. But yeah, I'm really happy that she fits brat skirts. I am definitely gonna put together more outfits for her and see what else can fit. So yeah, um, I also brought some other clothes. So let's put those on now. You guys, <laughs> look at this outfit. Oh my God, okay. So I'm gagged. Um, this is actually a Barbie fashion fever top that I have like secured just so it looks a little bit, you know, more <laughs> her size, but it works as a dress because she's so tiny. And technically the shirt is also long. But yeah, um, these are Nana Na shoes from the new Sweetheart, whatever. These also like fit Rainbow High dolls, kind of. Um, they fit them more secure, the original, uh, like, normal bodies because their feet are bigger. But maybe you can, like, stuff something in here to make these fit her, like, more snug. But yeah, this might be the outfit that I give her, honestly. I don't know. This is just so cute. Um, love that. I also did bring some other shoes because I realized she can technically fit OMG shoes. Look, um, the only issue is that since the OMG foot arch is so high, the shoe kind of like sticks out weird. Um, but I guess if you if you just want to take pictures, you can actually get some OMG shoes for them. Um, and then I also brought out this Skylar OG boot to tell you, show you what I was saying. Um, if you have like a boot, they can probably, they can definitely rock that. Um, it's definitely giving like brats proportions, but I love that. Um, and then what else did I want to show you? Oh, okay. I also brought out, <laughs> just in case anyone was wondering, <laughs> that's what that looks like on them. But yeah, so I just have a couple more clothes to put on. So I'm going to go do that. So this is what she looks like with a normal Rainbow High top. Um, fits them pretty much the same way as a normal Rainbow High doll. It's just a, a little bit bigger, maybe. Um, and then this is a Fashion Fever Barbie skirt. Um, looks like they can fit Barbie skirts pretty much just as well as the original Rainbow High bodies. Um, and then for the last thing, this is what a Rainbow High, normal Rainbow High dress kind of looks on them. Um, maybe I chose a bad dress for this. But yeah, so that was all the, that was, you know, the dressing up portion of this video. I'm gonna put her back in her original outfit and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, you guys. So that's it for this review. Um, honestly, I'm so happy with her. I love, love, love her. I love her little, how petite she is. It, I just, I think they're like the perfect size. Like, I really cannot wait to get the other girls. And I also can't wait for more series. Like, 
I'm sure if we're gonna get junior high versions of like the main series girls, like we're gonna have to get through series two first, which whatever. But I'm really excited if we get more lines, but also if we get like the series three girls and onwards with the new face molds, if they're gonna introduce new face molds into the junior high line, I think that would be amazing. Um, and I'm just excited to see where the, what they do with this. Like imagine junior high play sets, that would be iconic. Um, but yeah, I guess my only cons for this doll is my particular one has that little lip issue. Um, Jade's hair isn't like the thickest. I'm hoping it'll look better after a wash, but like you can literally see scalp. Um, it feels nice though and it flows cutely. It flows really cute. Um, and then another thing, random, but like her underwear is like right under her belly button. So it kind of makes it annoying for like low waisted thing so I might have to like acetone that off I don't know we'll see but yeah I honestly give her like a 9 out of 10 um I paid only like 12 bucks for her but for 25 bucks I think it's worth it I just wish they came with the stand if they came with the stand I would be like hell yeah go out and get all of them um but the lack of a stand is annoying although I do think they'll fit OMG stands perfectly so I might just get rid of or sacrifice some of my OMGs for my junior high girls. But yeah, hopefully they'll bring a stand in the future lines. Um, I would w much rather have that than the comb. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Doll. Same as my YouTube. I'm way more active on there. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.